Hi guys, welcome to the Church Split. My name is Will, and today I have a quick announcement for you. I wanted to tell you that you can now order my book publicly, Crushing the Great Serpent, Did God Punish Jesus? You can order this on Amazon right now, so wherever Amazon is available, you can order it right then and there. If Amazon is not available, you'd still like to buy the book, please message me at the church split at gmail.com. And I'd love to work out details for you on how I can get a copy in your hands. This book is dealing specifically with the question of penal substitutionary atonement and the alternative views to it. Because one of the most popular views in evangelical Christianity today is that God punished Jesus in our place, that mankind deserved punishment, but God loved us so much that he sent his son to die, to take the punishment for us, to pour his wrath out on his son in order to satisfy his wrath and his justice and restore mankind in fellowship with him. However, I think there are many problems with this view. And I don't, I do not think this is a proper view of the gospel. And also I think it creates some serious problems within the character of God and within the biblical text itself. So if you're interested in an alternative view for theological reasons, for curiosity reasons, for apologetic reasons, or because you too are in this theological like corner where you just like, I don't like this view and I think there's something wrong with it, but I don't know any alternatives. That's what this book is for, is to answer the alternatives for you. And this book, just so you guys know, I'm going to open up the table of contents real fast. Just give you kind of a kind of a trailer, so to speak. It's going to deal with my own personal confessions on how I reached my conclusions. It's going to define what penal substitutionary atonement is. It's going to take a look at the Eastern Church and the Western Church and how both have formulated their views over time. We're going to talk about the issue of transmission of sin. In other words, did God transfer our sins to Jesus and destroy it? Is sin transferable at all? Uh, we're going to talk about what it does it mean to be out of hell to take it to something out of hell. And is that cleansing language? Is that is that punishment language? Uh, what about, uh, what is death? What is the nature of death? Is it a punishment from God? Is God punishing us when we experience death? Or is death something else? And why did Jesus have to die in the first place? Then we're gonna talk about ransom and what is a price of a life? We're gonna talk about what the Old Testament offerings even were, because a lot of people are confused on that. We're gonna compare that. We're gonna look at the scapegoat and the atonement, day of atonement ritual. And we're also going to now finally look at, at the at toward chapter 10, no wrath for the weary. Once everything's set up, we're gonna actually look at biblical texts and what the, what the Bible says, wrath and God's wrath. Then we're going to talk about Isaiah 53, and then you're going to look at what it means to have a new covenant, a quick overview of a bunch of quotes from church fathers. And then we're going to talk about what paganism does. And we're going to uh, even look at uh, the binding of Isaac a little bit. And then we're finally going to summarize all that. And you get all that when you order this book. It is a sizable book, but it's not too fat, but it's also very easily readable. You can see it right there. It is not overly complicated. It is meant to be put in a layperson's hands to understand the topic well. It is not meant to be uh, above everyone's heads, but rather for it to be processable because my biggest frustration was when I was studying atonement theology and when I was studying what Christ's work was, is that the scholarship was vast, intimidating, and deep. I could not find a simple book that could just pick it up and explain to me all the major pillars of penal substitutionary atonement and alternative views. And this book has been described to me, to me by people who've read this book uh, before its public release, that it was like, I took a hammer and smashed through their brick wall, but every time I, I smashed their brick wall, I replaced it with other bricks. And we're making the process a lot easier for people to read without feeling like I was just beating down their house while leaving it in rubble. Because uh, that's actually one of the things that drives me nuts is when people just want to poke holes in my view, but they do not present a more cohesive view. If you have a problem with my view, you need to present a cohesive alternative. And that is what I tried to do in this book. And it sounds like for people who've read it that I've done it successfully. Of course, only you can be the judge of that, whether I did or not. Uh, there are things I thought I could add to the book that I ended up not adding to the book just because it was already thick enough as is. Unless there are things in the book that I think needed to be left in the book, despite the fact that like uh, there's two chapters in particular that were challenging for me to figure out where to put it, but I felt like they needed to be talked about. So you guys could order all that online right now go to amazon link in the description below and if you do order it 
please leave me a five-star review on there. I want this to be the quintessential book to put in people's hands regarding penal substitutionary atonement and alternative views for the everyman. I'm not looking for this to be the next academic book in the world, but I do want this to be the first one that people could go to to get an overview of the topic to know what they can study more because we deal everything with uh, anthropology to theology to sacrificial systems of the old testament to paganism and philosophy it does all those things but just attacks each one as the main pillars uh you'll find that it is footnoted uh all those things are still in there but just try to keep it as simple as possible so i hope this is beneficial for all of you please order crushing the great serpent did god punish jesus i am very proud of this work i might write more books in the future if this one goes well if i get enough positive feedback but for all that said guys i really appreciate all the support you guys have done for me on this channel thank you so much for all the love and all the patience i know i've been working on this book and talked about this book for a long time it is finally out now for public uh for public consumption so you have to let me know what you think about it i'll talk to you all soon so take care god bless and order my book you'll enjoy it or at least i hope you will and if you don't don't tell me because it'll crush my soul all right talk to you guys later see ya